you can't handle the truth hey dude gotta stop that what's going on y'all attorney tom here back at it again with another deposition react video my first deposition react video the deposition of lil wayne was so well received i thought i would continue on with this trend so in today's video i'm going to be reacting to a video called verbatim what is a photocopier and the suggestion for this video comes from a comment on the lil wayne video from delbert newman let's see what fun is in store for us today let's jump right into it what is a photocopier by brett wiener <laughs> okay i'm sorry i'm sorry immature i'm a lawyer i'm a lawyer Oh, also, real quick, before we start, I went to the eye doctor today. Probably going to have to have surgery on my lazy eye. We're thinking in about two months' time. So say goodbye to this eye patch, maybe. Rip Pirate Tom. Moving on. In 2010, the Chuyoga. Ch ch what the hell? The Chu Chuhoga? The Chu Chioga, Chu Yoga, the Chu Hoga, the Chu Hoga County Recorder's Office in Ohio was sued when it decided to charge two dollars per page for photocopies of public documents. The following scene is a deposition from the court case. The dialogue is presented verbatim. System onto the master CD is a device within the recorder's office. Okay, so these are actors, but they are reading from the actual deposition transcript. Is that correct, as opposed to being in some other building somewhere? Yes. During your tenure in the computer department at the recorder's office, has the recorder's office had photocopying machines? Objection. Any photocopying machine? So the reason why the lawyer objected was because the question is leading. Generally in a deposition, you are not going to object and then specify the objection. Whereas in trial, you'd have to stand up and say, objection, leading, objection, X, Y, Z. You don't do that in a deposition, generally. And it's gonna vary state to state, case to case. The only objection made in a deposition is objection form, which covers pretty much all other objections. There are exceptions, but 99% of the time, the objection is going to be objection form. And generally, because there's only one objection, objection form, the lawyers just say objection, or there's an understanding between the lawyers that you don't need to specify what the objection is. We're learning. When you say photocopying machine, what do you mean? Let me be... Let me make sure I understand your question. You don't have an understanding of what a photocopying machine is? No, I want to make sure that I answer your question correctly. Dave, I'll object to the tone of the question. You make it sound like it's unbelievable to you that he wouldn't know what the definition of a photocopy machine is. I didn't ask him to define it. I asked him if he had it. When you say photocopying machine, what do you mean? Let me be clear. <laughs> the term photocopying machine is so ambiguous that you can't picture in your mind what a photocopying machine is in an office setting. I just want to make sure I answer your question correctly. So I can totally empathize with the lawyer who is taking the deposition. This case is about photocopies, about how the government charges $2 per photocopy. You would assume that the person who they would tender for the deposition, the deponent would know what a photocopy is. Now, this is a tricky situation. If you are the person, the lawyer taking the deposition, you want to be assertive, but you don't want to be too assertive. You don't want to come off like a total ass. <gasps> well, we'll find out. If you can say yes or no, I can do follow-ups. But it seems if you really don't know in an office setting what a photocopying machine is, I'd like the Ohio Supreme Court to hear you say so. I just want to make sure I answer your question correctly. There's different types of photocopiers, Dave. You're speaking instead of... You're not in a row. This guy is. I understand that. But I understand what his objection is. You want him to answer the question. I don't think it's fair. It's not f That question is fair. This case is about photocopying and the prices associated with them. Fair? It's not a fair question. A photocopy machine can be a machine that uses photostatic, 
technology, that uses xerographic technology, that uses scanning technology. I don't care what kind of technology it uses. Has your offices... We don't have technocrats on the Ohio Supreme Court. We've got people like me, general guys Objection. or gals. I'm not really very interested in what the technology element of it is. I want to know. That's help. what's at issue in the case, Dave. Not in my judgment. Do you have photocopy machines at the recorder's office? If you don't know what that means in an office setting, please tell the court you don't know what that means in an office setting, to have a photocopying machine. <clears throat> I would like to answer your question to the best of my ability. <laughs> I still need to answer that. So if That's all a deposition is. You always answer to the best of your ability. I'm not supporting the lawyer who's getting upset. I can just, I empathize with him. It doesn't mean it's okay, but come on. If you could explain to me what you mean by- I'm not gonna do that because I want you, I want to establish on the record that you really don't know what it is. I want to establish that. Now, do you know what it is or do you not know what it is? Do you understand what that term means in common parlance or not? Common parlance? Common language. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know what that- Oh, the lawyer kind of shot himself in the foot by using that fancy lingo for just saying common language. Classic lawyer mishap. A lot of lawyers like to speak in fancy mumbo jumbo and it backfires because it's clear the guy who they sent to the deposition is not qualified at best and uncooperative at worst. So at this point, I'm thinking about ending the deposition, calling the judge, saying, judge, they sent somebody who did not know what they were talking about. I need to do this again. I understand that there are photocopy machines and there are different types of them, just like there are, are different Are there any cars. in the recorder's office? Some of them office? run under gas power, some of them under electric power. And I'm asking if you could help me out by explaining what you mean by photocopy That's machine. That's a great point. Instead of trying to make me feel stupid. If you feel stupid, it's not because I'm making you feel that way. Objection. I have self-confidence and I have no problem. I don't think you're stupid. I think. I don't have any problem answering the question. I think you're playing games with me. Dave, the word photocopying is at issue in this case. And you're asking him whether something is or isn't a photocopy machine, which is a legal conclusion. This isn't a patent case. There's no statute that defines where I'm asking him to define technology for me. I'm asking. That was a good answer. It's exactly right. This case is not about how the photocopy gets made just that there is a photocopy and the subsequent charge associated with it now the lawyer is clearly losing his temper and you do not want to personally insult anybody this is just business it is what it is the lawyer is hired to do his job the deponent is there to do their job or is there against their will by a subpoena everybody's just there to do their job I want to find out from a layperson's perspective, not from an engineer's perspective, not from a technician's perspective, but from, I have an idea. How about this? Have you ever heard the term photocopier or photocopy used in the recorder's office by anybody? Photocopy? I'm sure in the time I've been there, someone has used the term. And have you ever heard them use it in referencing a particular device or machine within the recorder's office? By way of example, can you photocopy that for me? That's an example of office parlance. That particular terminology I've not witnessed. What was the context that you heard the term photocopy used in the recorder's office? This lawyer is too transfixed on the word photocopy. This guy clearly worked in the photocopying office and he very well might be messing with the lawyer. And if he is, there's not really too much you can do about it. But if he's truly innocent, innocent in not knowing the term of photocopy the lawyer needs to take a step back and examine the questions he needs to ask such as do you make carbon copies yes we make carbon copies okay what do you call that oh we call it making copies or whatever because this guy is clearly very technical and if you say photocopy and they don't call it photocopy he's not going to be able to regurgitate that information you should take a step back and figure out what the vernacular of the office is. I'm sure it's been used. Uh, I didn't say I remembered a specific instance. All right. But you have a general understanding that people have used the term photocopy within the recorder's office in terms of something that could be done there. Is that true? I'm sure it's been used. I don't remember a specific instance or how it was used. I'm sure it's been used. And is it fair to say that it's been used in terms of being able to copy one piece of paper onto another piece of paper using a machine? 
No, not sure of that. I'm sure it's been used. I don't recall a specific instance in which it was. Do you have a secretary? No. Does anybody there have a secretary? Yes. Have you ever heard a secretary use the term photocopy? No. Have you ever? <laughs> Do you have machines there where I can put in a paper document, push a button or two, and out will come copies That's of the that question. paper document also on paper? Do you have <laughs> such a machine? Yes, sir. What? Do you call that machine? Xerox. <laughs> Following many depositions and more than 600 pages of paperwork, the case never went to trial. As with most cases, most cases, I think 90, 95% of cases end up settling. Hilarious. I just want to take a moment of reflection. This scene right here has very much a few good men vibes. You want the truth? You can't handle the truth. Now watch this scene compared to that. And out will come copies of that paper document also on paper. Do you have such a machine? <laughs> yes, sir. What? Do you call that machine? A Xerox. A Xerox. Hilarious. Thank you for that suggestion. All right, y'all, that's it for today's video. Make sure you hit that like button, leave any comments, questions, concerns down below in the comment section, or leave any recommendations on videos that I should react to. We're growing like crazy. I think we just passed 345,000 subscribers. All right, y'all, thank you again so much for watching. My goal is always to make content worthy of your time. I hope you found this video entertaining. <laughs> All right, y'all, talk to you later. Bye.